Well, we got the hillbilly wall all down. But as you can see, I'm still in my coveralls. Cause I didn't take this down because it's getting warmer. Although we are getting there. But you guys know I have, let's see, Project Raging Rhino there tore apart waiting to work, which I got all the pieces here. I got Mighty Mouse halfway tore apart to work on for putting the wet clutch springs in and then eventually turboing it here rather directly. So I am running out of room in the hillbilly garage. And obviously as my channel continues to grow, my projects continue to get bigger and bigger or I get more projects going at the same time like I kind of have now, I am going to need some more room. So I think what the plan is to do right now, I eventually want to get a nice storage shed. I think I've mentioned this before, a nice pole building here to store machines in so I don't have to store them in there where I also work on them. Because so as you can see, poor the poor Wolverine is stuck outside here because there's no room to put them. However, if you guys have watched my riding videos, have seen me go up, up the lane, chances are you've probably caught glimpses of this old dilapidated guy right here. Now this used to be the old wash house for our house. This house is old enough it was built before there was indoor plumbing and electricity. So this used to be the wash house here. And as you can see, it is in much, much disrepair and falling down. So what my plan is, is to tear this guy down, hopefully without knocking the carport down, especially since we have all Raging Rhino's parts in there and she's all tore down, Mighty Mouse is tore down. I would not be happy by myself if this collapsed on Mighty Mouse. I'm sure Greg would not be happy if I collapsed this on Raging Rhino. So as carefully as I can, we're gonna knock this guy down and then rebuild on the foundation. Hillbilly Garage 2.0. So this will be a pretty good expandable space for a garage here. It does have a full basement underneath. As you can see, she's just full of junk that's collected over the years. Most of this stuff is not mine. Some of it is, but yeah, there is an old second story up here. It's rotted, I would not walk on that. But we will reuse this foundation, just build new on top. So we'll get a nice big garage going out here. Let's walk around a little bit. Whoa, parkour! Uh, ow, briars. Here's this, and of course, we'll probably take this chimney down. I'm gonna put the garage door right here so we can drive up from either direction and go in here. And we probably will keep it open basement that way i can put heating plumbing whatever i want in here and the plan actually is to go up two stories with this we're going to go up about 10 foot high for a nice high ceiling for the garage and then we're going to put a second story on there kind of like what's there now that way the uh, wife and i has a nice little place we can make a workout area in i can probably make my little office there for editing and stuff we'll kind of all be contained here in this building we might have some interesting stuff happen as we begin to tear this down, especially if it collapses. So I figured probably better film it, get it on camera. It might be a pretty exciting adventure and project. So first thing I need to do is make sure we're good and separated from the carport here. So I don't end up knocking down Hillbilly Garage 1.0. than you think. It's not I, budging. I saw it move. I saw it move. It might be. I think the inside's fine. I think it's the roof. Well, the whole thing does lean a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not much. It might have been built leaning. Mommy. That is true. If you just want to rip the roof off and go from there.
All right, guys, we're making some progress here. So you can see, I got it opened up anyway. There are some goodies in here. We got some old chairs. I know the lighting stinks. We'll have to try to pull some of these we can. I know a lot of people love these old chairs, so we might be able to sell some of them. Looks like an old headboard there. A pile of chairs back there. It looks like a ones, a tin chair. I don't know how strong this floor is. I would love to get in there. And it would make this so much easier to tear down if I could walk on that floor to tear this roof down. But with uh, this rotted as much as it is there, and that floor right there is pretty much rotted, I'm liable to go through. I think what I'm gonna do is cut these two boards here. Those are full length. They run the whole way up and down, or at least to above the door there. I guess the door is right below there. So I think if I take and cut those off there, get those out of the way. I mean, this side of the roof, it's rotted. It's not gonna take much to get this down, but this side's still in pretty decent shape yet. Even the shingles are uh, fairly decent, but this other side, the other side here was in the pine trees. There used to be a bunch of big pine and spruce trees right here that, of course, that's why all this moss is growing on the carport roof. From their needles falling and making everything grow. So that's why this roof is shot. You can see we have since cut those down so they didn't fall in the house. But that's pretty much what destroyed this roof and this old wash house. Ah, let's hope we can get her down nice and easy. So we've gotten about as far as I can get on that other side. We've gotten all the at least valuables we can get at out of the top. So the next thing I'm trying to do is get that chimney to fall down. I've been whack whacking at it with the sledgehammer. You can see here in the middle, I got a good chunk out. And it looks like she's already starting to lean out a little bit. So I'm gonna get my uh, big bar now that has some reach so I can stay back, see if I can't punch that other side out. Maybe we'll get this guy to fall. And I think that's our main support here. Once we get that off, we might be able just to topple the whole building safely and away from the house. At least that's what I'm hoping. Well, that was pretty cool. Well, I may have had too much fun taking that chimney down because now that I've got some boards off of there and I'm in a more of a destructive mood, I kind of want to see what happens if I take, just pull this center post out. I think that's what's supporting our ridge beam up there and holding the roof up. So uh, I'm going to pull that out of there, see if I can't get this roof to collapse on itself. And if I can, then we really don't have to worry too much about tearing it down. I'll probably hook a chain to it and just knock the whole building over by pulling it. 
let's say we give her a yank and uh, see what happens. Dramatic countdown. Three, two, one. Well, that was very underdramatic.